Georgia is home to many historically significant Native American sites. In this video, we'll explore a few of these and learn more about the history and culture behind them. The Rocky Eagle Mound can be found in Putnam County at the Rocky Eagle 4-H Center just north of Eatonton, Georgia, and is adjacent to the Oconee National Forest. The Rocky Eagle Mound is a stone effigy in the shape of a bird in flight and is composed completely of white quartz rocks. It has a height of 8 feet at the tallest point, a wingspan of 120 feet, and is 102 feet long from head to tail. It is estimated to have been built 2,000 years ago, and archaeologists associate the mound with the Middle Woodland period, which is 100 to 300 AD. Historians suspect the structure was used as a place of ceremony. The site was added to the National Register of Historic Places in the late 1970s. The only other recognized stone effigy mound found east of the Mississippi River is Rock Hawk, and it is also located in Putnam County. The Rock Hawk effigy is located east of Eatonton, near the historic Piedmont Scenic Byway. The surrounding area contains 30 miles of trails and educational displays that lead you to the effigy. This effigy is also comprised of white quartz rocks. Some of the rocks are so large that archaeologists believe that they were dragged there with the use of deer skins. Fort Mountain is located in Chatsworth and is named for an ancient rock wall that can be found there. This mysterious wall is archaeologists identified as a native built structure and is believed to have been built by Woodlands era Indians between 500 BC and 500 AD. The wall stretches 855 feet across the highest point of the mountain and seems to indicate fortification against hostile groups or possible ceremonial rituals. Fort Mountain is one of six stops found on Georgia's Chieftain's Trail. The Chieftain's Trail is a 200 mile driving tour through Northwest Georgia. The next three locations are mound sites. The first is the Etowah Indian Mounds. It is a state historic site located in Cartersville. This site is home to six earthen mounds complete with a village site. It is noted to be the most preserved Native American location in the southeast. These six mounds have escaped excavation and remain intact. Also located at the site is a nature trail that follows the Etowah River that features a fish trap and highlights medicinal uses for native plants. In the visitor center, you can also find exhibits containing artifacts. The Okmulgee Mounds National Historic Park is located in Macon and exhibits artifacts from several Native American cultures, including the Paleo Indians who arrived during the Ice Age period, the Woodland Culture, which began horticulture in Middle Georgia, and the Mississippians who built mounds for their elite. The site includes an educational video, temple mound, and hiking trails that tour the grounds. The Kolomoki Mounds State Park is located in Blakely and protects the largest woodland Indian site in the southeast. The park features Swift Creek and Whedon Island Indian Mounds and include the oldest Great Temple Mound in the state, burial mounds, and ceremonial mounds. A unique museum is built around an excavated mound where visitors can learn about the culture surrounding this historic site. Next, we have the New Echota Historic Site located in Calhoun. This site served as the capital of the Cherokee Nation from 1825 to 1838. It is the site of the first Indian language newspaper office, one of the first experiments in national self-governing by an Indian tribe, was the location of the signing of the treaty that relinquished Cherokee claims to lands east of the Mississippi River. This site also saw the start of the tragic Trail of Tears with the assembly of Indians for removal to the west. Several structures still stand here, including the building where the Cherokee newspaper was published, a tavern, and many more have been reconstructed. The site also has a museum detailing the history of the location. The next site features rock art created by the Creek and Cherokee people and is located at Track Rock Gap, Chattahoochee National Forest in Blairsville. Track Rock Gap is a small site that preserves a significant site of rock art created by Creek and Cherokee people. If you visit, you can view a small sampling of boulders featuring petroglyphs at the archaeological site. Last, we have Indian Springs State Park, located south of Atlanta and Flavilla. It is a park that's been built around an iconic mineral spring with deep ties to the Creek Indians. The Creek believed these waters that still trickle from beneath the ground possessed healing powers. There is a historic hotel across the street where the 1825 Treaty of Indian Springs was signed. 
and now serves as a museum featuring exhibits and artifacts.